What's going on, boxing fans? Joel and Williams here at the distance. Got a video for you guys. This one's a post fight to the controversial ending to the Cruiserweight IBF Championship match between Juan Pablo Hernandez and Steve USS Cunningham. Um, about just took place yesterday, yesterday afternoon here in the United States. Um, about ended in a um, technical decision for Juan Pablo Hernandez. Um, technical split decision. Um, Pretty much, I'll say straight up up front. I thought it was a close one. Um, I had I had um, Cunningham winning the bout. Um, I didn't have winning by much, but um, the first round um, I had Hernandez winning. Hernandez hitting with a good um, left hand, but the left hand didn't necessarily connect on the chin and landed more so on the side of the head. And um, it was more so an equilibrium shot. Um, I think if it was in the United States, about I think more than likely Cunningham probably would have been. Um, I think he more than likely would have been counted out if it was, you know, a Smoker or a Cortez or someone like that. I think he probably would have been counted out. Um, it's a, because you know he did lose his footing quite pretty good because just because of those equilibrium shots take a long time to recover from. Um, so I think that's why his legs were seemed to be gone in that first round. It was just like a hard, clean punch, like right. I think it was like right behind the ear, side of the head, and and yeah, that will pretty much make you lose your balance. So ten eight, um, Hernandez second round. Um, I think that Cunningham was still recovering, and Hernandez was answering back with combinations compared to um, Cunningham single shots. So I gave this one to Hernandez, Hernandez because you know he was throwing combinations rather than single shots that Cunningham was throwing. Um, but Cunningham was, starting, was beginning to open up towards the end of the round. Then the third round I gave to Cunningham. He started the box coming forward, moving forward. He was um, slipping in occasional punches to the body. Other than slipping in occasional punches to the body, he was working behind the jab, trying to come forward, trying to bring that guard down. And, and the fight you know, kind of um, went through this bit of a change. Um, he started to make this transitional shift beginning in that round. So in the fourth round, the fourth round is a close round, and this fourth round could have gone either way, um, because Cunningham was, because Cunningham at first was throwing um, punches first, and uh, moving around the ring and pretty much fighting at his own pace, but also in between his punches, Hernandez was was slipping his own punches in between Cunningham's punches, coming underneath his jab with the with the counter right hook or left hook, but I think I think Hernandez threw more punches. But I think that, but I think that Cunningham landed more. But I had Cunningham winning this one. Um, I just think that Cunningham was the one throwing first, and he's pretty much making Hernandez open up. And I believe that the fire that makes the other fire open up, I think the fire, the other fire should have the benefit of the doubt. He's making the other fire open up, and it's pretty much because it's pretty much saying, hey, he's fighting at his pace, and he's making him fight. So I gave this round to Cunningham, which was a close round that definitely could have gone either way. Round five, I gave to Cunningham. Cunningham was coming forward, putting together his combinations and really opening it up and be beginning to um, fight at his own pace. Because Hernandez stopped throwing back in the fourth round, there was a clash of heads. I believe it was third or fourth round, there was a clash of heads that, that caused a cut over the eye of Hernandez. And pretty much, Cunningham started to you know, open up. He did kind of lunge in with his head a few times coming inside. And his, def and his defense had gotten much better in round five. He started to use his shoulders and have a lot more head movement and use his hands to block the punches, um, even more so than he did in the, er in the earlier rounds he's, because he started to see the punches come in because Hernandez was kind of telegraphing those shots. So round five, I gave to Cunningham. Round six, I gave to Cunningham because Hernandez started to look much slower in that round. He began to slow down in round six and pretty much... Since he was slowing down, Cunningham was coming forward and taking advantage of the fact that, hey, he's slowing down. And pretty much I had Cunningham winning the fight. For a fighter like Juan Pablo Hernandez, um, pretty much I wouldn't want to win the title on a technical decision on a cut. I would want to go the full distance and get the knockout to get the win, especially being that it's you know my first championship. So to me, if I was Hernandez... You know, and wanting to be a fighting champion, I give Cunningham the rematch. I think Cunningham deserves the rematch. Being that he was coming back in the fight and it didn't go the full 12, and he does tend to start slow. Um, so I think that 
I think Cunningham deserves a rematch. Um, it will probably be a rematch sometime at the end of the year. End of the year, next year, we'll see. Um, but I don't think it's a way to really want to win a championship in a six-round technical decision. You know, take what you can take what you can get, end it right now. I think Hernandez could have continued fighting, but I don't know if it was the corner that stopped it, the referee that stopped it. I think the referee more than likely stopped it. And um, and if the corner stopped it, then smart on them because they probably knew that he was ahead. Um, but it is what it is. I had Cunningham win um, by um, barely winning it, but I had him winning. So I'm with peeps. I'm out of here. Next video, Lopez versus Oliver. I'm out of here. Peace.